What's going on guys, it's Gerard. We're back and better than ever on the YMCA Encinitas Vert Ramp. We don't have any time for an intro today, we're just gonna get right into it. So, like always, started out with some pumping. I just wanna start out by saying that this was the absolute best I have felt on any sort of vert since I started skating it. I felt really comfortable pretty much the entire session and I really didn't know what I wanted to do coming into this. I knew I wanted to practice getting my front foot higher, getting comfortable with that idea of getting ready for the pop and having a little bit more control of my kick turns. Um, I have watched probably every backside air video that's ever been created on YouTube. So if you're out there watching and you've posted a backside air within the past like 15 years, I've watched it. So thanks in advance for that. But obviously I've been following like a lot of us, the Michi Brusco skate IQ methodology, that idea of trying to get those power slides, trying to pop into the backside air versus bonk it off the coping. But every video out there you watch is just all about doing those nose grab kick turns and i know mitchie says you don't need it you don't really ever need to practice it he did make there's my first attempt right there he did make one exception as far as like hey if you need to practice grabs that's a way you can do it and i was thinking to myself hey I've never grabbed my board before, so maybe I should practice that. So um, I saw the video of Andy McDonald when he went and visited the guys at Braille, and that's what he talked about, nose grab, kick turn, and just keep practicing that. And so when I first got to the park, one of the, the employees there, his name was Graham, I didn't actually get to skate with him, which was kind of a bummer, but he said the same thing. So it felt destiny that I needed to practice some of these nose grabs. So I, I think that was the first one I got there. You can see I was leaning heavily over the front of my board. Um, didn't look super comfortable, um, but I actually grabbed the board and I'm, I'm going for it a couple times there. Uh, throughout this session, it became a focus of mine to try and get more comfortable with those grabs so I can make adjustments because I can feel it already. So much of the weight is over my toes. So if I tried to ride that out in any way, I was gonna just bail. Um, I don't know what I was trying to do there. These, these drop-ins, I missed one there. But I, my toxic trait, I think, is that I already believe that I can do a lot of lip tricks on this ramp. Obviously, when you're skating it, it doesn't feel that comfortable to go for a lip trick. But focusing so much, like right there, I feel like I could turn that into a 50-50 grind. Focusing so much on backside air, I haven't really given myself any time for what would be considered basics on like mini ramp, right? Like rock to fakie, tail salt, anything like that. But after I get backside air, that's something I'd like to focus on is putting a run together on a vert ramp. Something that I can potentially even take to some of the bigger vert ramps that are like 13 feet, that kind of thing. So there I am again going for another nose grab. We are, ooh. So you can see there I'm trying to focus on getting my front leg up. Ooh, that was nice and high. Trying to get my front leg up higher. And, and what I'll notice is that as I'm doing that, the, the weight is gonna shift to my heels. So one thing that I've talked about in past videos is not really understanding how to power slide on vert. And in the Skate IQ Michi Brusco videos, I actually fell off the ramp there. I wish the camera would have caught it, it was pretty amazing. But is that he talks about using your heels to power slide and it felt very awkward when I've tried it in the past. But as I'm trying to straighten out these nose grabs, that's exactly what happens. So some of them I start to power slide down a little bit. You might even hear it. I don't know how much my talking goes over it, but um, it definitely happens. It's funny. I did tell myself that I wanted to practice some frontside kick turns, try and get a frontside slash, but I only did one about halfway up and then never did it again. So um, maybe we'll leave that for another session. Another nose grab there. I realized that I thought this angle was going to be great for this because it's good for backside kick turns, but you don't get a great look at the nose grabs. So I think next session I'll try and film some from the other side. Obviously I'm going to try and step it up and get those back wheels off. I think that's what I was trying to do there also. But I, I want to be able to see that nose grab and see my form a little bit better too. As I'm getting comfortable, I mean you see I'm consistently touching the coping. I'm feeling myself floated up there like you would for an axle stall, right? Think about, it. I feel it especially when you get to ramps that are six feet and higher. You, you really have to float into the stall. And so as I was skating the vert ramp this day, 
I was floating it up there to try and get that slash, and so I wonder if that'll help me eventually turn that into a stall. Uh, because I was getting so high, I zoomed the camera back out because uh, I wanted to see how it looked. Um, and you'll see if these nose grabs start getting higher too. It's hard because I want to follow that skate IQ pop into the nose grab. I want to build good fundamentals. I don't know how far this vert journey is going to go. Uh, backside air would be enough to get me stoked for life, but when it comes to skateboarding, you never know what you're capable of until you try it. And so I want to have solid fundamentals, but as I see these get higher and higher, and you can see I'm getting antsy, I wonder if I could get away with the bonk. If I could just send it up, grab the nose and bring it back in. And so if you're a vert skater out there and you think I should try that, let me know. But I think I still want to focus on getting that little pop, but it's really tempting just to straighten it out, get a really good pump, and then just go for it. Um, I think I touched the coping there. It might have just been the wheel, but you can see when I feel like I missed it. But now I'm starting to get those nose grabs while hitting coping. So I I'm doing my best to scrape my tail, like I've heard people say. Gosh, I, I just, if you watch this video of me a few weeks ago compared to this one, I just look so much more comfortable. Even these kick turns coming straight up and back down, it's, it's almost hard for me to watch that first vert session now after watching this because I look so much better than I did even just a few weeks ago. So when I watch these little kick turn nose grabs like this, where I'm really at the coping, I'm just wondering, can I just get over it? Can I just yank the nose up and go for it? So these ones are starting to feel good. I'm still trying to be conscious of some of those principles from the Skate IQ videos. I really am trying to avoid the early grab, kind of stink bug, bending my back leg. I'm trying to keep my back leg straight as if I'm pumping up into the, into the backside air. Um, I, I really can't figure out, and we'll see, I know I'm gonna try some here shortly. I can't really figure out how to release myself from the ramp. And I know that's the big criticism of the nose grab kick turn is that you're stuck to the ramp because you're you're reaching down instead of bringing the board up to you i do wonder how much of it is actually popping versus how much of it is just lifting up that front knee really quickly getting that tail scrape and that kind of acts as your pop because if you're on a vert ramp you're, you're on a vertical wall, so I think of like a blunt to fakie coming back in where you're not ollieing up, really, so your front foot's not going up like it normally would. It's coming out, and so uh, I'm curious on my next session to try that out and see if just pulling that front leg up quicker is enough to release me from the ramp. So here, I, I do start trying just to to figure it out and trying to get little pops, but I'm still so stuck in the backside disaster muscle memory where I'm scooping it behind me and, and really everything I'm doing in these repeated kick turns is being lost in that. You see it there, I, I really just throw the board away. There's nothing happening. So um, I think one of the benefits of doing these kick turns over and over and over is hopefully trying to fix some of that muscle memory. And, and I don't know, I mean, I'm assuming the pop should be a little bit more straight up. If you think about when you watch people do a backside air, they launch straight up out of the ramp. And so that's something I think I need to be more conscious of. So that one actually wasn't a bad try. I tried to pop it up into my hand and I think I popped it a little earlier. And so that might be the key for next time. I don't I don't think I really get closer than that with, with a grab. And, and so that was kind of similar. I'm still too much on my toes so the board skips out behind me but the timing felt a little bit better. So that's something I'm gonna pay attention to as I go to my next session. So there, same thing, just kicking the board out behind me, not a really good attempt. I love seeing my ability to get more comfortable with these kick turns up at the coping. I mean, for me, that was one of my better nose grabs where I looked like I was on my heels and I wasn't falling over my board, which is what I was really trying to do. <laughs> that one I kinda, swayed out there. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to get back to my heels and it didn't quite work. Yeah, I, I think a lot of these are starting to look better as they're higher up on the ramp. I felt good about 
coming down with my board. I felt like a real vert skater there. But um, I think a lot of these are, are looking better. You can see I'm really trying to get comfortable going straight up and straight down and getting that nose grab at the same time. And when I'm when I'm at the coping, man, it's it's so hard because it gets me into trouble sometimes. But I really like to just go for things. I have a hard time kind of building up these fundamental steps, which is funny because in a lot of the tutorials I talk so much about all these prerequisites for tricks. But gosh, I just wanted to get air so bad. Like you see there, I'm kind of tempting fade a little bit. I think, but it's funny on vert, even attempts like that where you have to bail out for the top give you so much confidence. I mean, a bail like that made me believe that I could get an axle salt or that I could air without getting hurt. Um, just getting a little bit more speed, a little bit harder pump, and, and really getting up out of the ramp. Ooh, trying to run out there, no good. That never feels good on your legs, by the way. I know this isn't a full side vert ramp, but still doesn't feel good. I mean, the kick turns, I, mean, I wasn't even thinking about them. Normally, it became kind of a, a fear thing for me getting that close to the top of the ramp, but everything felt so natural there. Didn't hate that attempt, but once again, I'm, I'm so over my toes there, and when I'm kicking the board out behind me, I have no hope of landing on it. Same thing, kind of a similar attempt there. I, I really gotta stay over my heels more so I can figure out how to get the board to stay under me. Obviously, it stays under me during the kick turn, so my body knows the weight that you need to stay over the board. It's just translating that to getting air at the same time. That was a little weird one. Good kick turn, but not really a great grab. Same thing, back disaster, scoop, not so good. I, I do want to give a shout out to the XL shirt I'm rocking today. I started out with the collar a little bit tighter, but as the, as the session went on, my goodness, my entire like chest is almost visible with how loose this thing is rocking. The sweat was not helping. I mean, this session was incredible though. There was really nobody else on the vert ramp almost the entire time. Good tail scrape there. So it was hard to pass up this great experience. It was so tiring, but it was something that was so helpful um, as I go forward for sure. Good kick turn again, straight up and down, feeling very confident. I didn't hate that there, so I was trying to recapture that feeling in some of these attempts where I really got the weightless feeling there. Uh, I was trying some backside ollies just straight up and down, and they weren't all successful. Same thing there, that was probably the closest thing. I needed to suck up my legs a little bit more um, so I could actually have a chance of landing on the board. But getting that feeling of weightlessness, it just gives me a little bit more confidence that I'm going to be able to get the backside air. As we get to these final runs here, my legs were just absolutely dead. But it was, like I said, it was so hard to pass up having the vert ramp all to myself. I think what I want to work on for the next session, which I'm going to try and get back out to that bowl and hem it on Monday, is like I talked about earlier, that lifting that front leg really fast to see if that helps me with the pop. But I really want to focus on trying to release myself for the ramp. So whether that's working on some more backside ollies, whether that's trying to pop the board into my hand, I've got to work on both of those things. So here, since I started feeling my weight in my heels, I started trying to mess around with some of those power slides again. I still wasn't getting a good power slide with my back wheels, but it was feeling a lot more confident. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. It's fun for me to watch back my progress. It's slow progress, but every session I feel like I get a little bit better. So I know what I want to work on next time, sucking my front leg up, seeing if I can get that pop, but we'll see how it goes and we'll see you guys in the next one.